the bill has hit Governor Abbott's desk and has been signed by Governor Abbott. Uh, basically, the anti-sanctuary city bill has been passed and is now law. And what that bill says is that if local law enforcement or state police uh, view a criminal activity afoot, they stop, they make a stop on that state crime, and then they can inquire into the status of an individual's residence. Are they uh, a lawful U.S. citizen? Are they here with a green card? Are they a permanent resident alien? Or are they here illegally without documentation? And if they are here illegally without that documentation, then the feds can get involved and then they can take it from there. I think this is a fantastic law. It is time to start enforcing the laws that are on the books instead of the state and local officials legislating from their own little tiny offices. It's an awful law because it's nothing more than a legal way for law enforcement to racially profile Mexicans and Hispanics. This law was written into existence by Governor Abbott to specifically go after a said group of demographics here in the state of Texas. Secondly, it is awful that we want to call them illegal immigrants to the point to where if a cop does not do his job according to this law, he can be charged and arrested and the cities can be given a $25,000 fine per day. Well, we'll put a cop in jail for not asking about his immigrant status, but we won't put cops in jail for shooting and killing unarmed black people. That's not true. And Thirdly, that's way, way I think it's far awful to Murder is them. against the law. Yeah, now. but it's like it's like when you kill black people and you're a cop. See, the problem in America and the state What about is, the Dallas case where that cop was just because charged there with was murder? Because there was video that showed he was absolutely lying. So you can't lying. make these broad statements. No, it's just because simply often, not true. often there's video, ma'am, where we are killed by cops and nobody ever goes to jail. Ask Eric Garner family that. Ask the family right there in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, Brother Alton Sterling's family, but you're they're not getting not justice. So video gonna mean that for us. But let's get back to the immigrants. I would say to the Hispanic and Mexican community, what you gotta do now, hook up with the black community and unite in political power because if Mexicans and black people unite in Texas, we can control the governor, we can control the lieutenant governor, and we can control politics in Texas, period. I'm saying to Latino brothers and sisters, don't fight them by yourself. If you hook up with black people and we unite, I'm telling you, we can run Texas and then pass laws to deal with those who hate us. You're advocating for criminal activity, Quanell. These people are not here lawfully. They need to do what our ancestors did, what many Mexicans have done. No, 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 what no, many, no, no, no. What many, 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 don't interrupt your me. Your ancestors I, came here legally. Wasn't well, nothing legal about your ancestors. Listen. They came illegally and they murdered, they raped, they pillaged a whole race of people. This country, Texas, Arizona, California, belonged okay. to the Mexicans. Well, no. get back they were the stole point. from them. You so tell you me to get back to the ancestors, point. They came no, no, no. You're not being fair to me here. You say stay on topic. I say, okay, we'll stay on topic. And then as soon as we start talking about illegal immigration, you go back to, to the black issue. Let's stay on topic. Your ancestors are the master illegal immigrants. Give me the opportunity to respond in that, you know what? We're all Americans here. And if you are here legally, absolutely. Then we need to come together and we need to pass good laws for enforcing the law. Well, perhaps okay. the Native Americans should have passed laws against your ancestors.